Roy House, everyone doing? Good to help, you know? Just to make a video about it, a video about it, Thai VCS, you know? Now, uh, the Thai VCS is awesome, I love it, you know? And um, we've had more than three years now, and uh, there's 150 games on the Atari VCS star uh, from from Atari and indie devs, which is pretty awesome. There's a game called uh, Quamp 2, which is an Atari game. It's like Pong, but it's a platformer game also, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, there's two other games called Annihilation and um, Cosmic Panic, right? Now, for some reason, I can't buy them games, you know? I press the buy now button and nothing's happened. But we've, we've got in touch with Atari Customer Support and they're aware of the situation. And I'll try to fix for it as soon as possible. But, um, yeah, pretty, pretty cute. But, um, that's what I'm saying. Like, um, if, if you do come across problems with your Atari VCS, get in touch with Atari Customer Support and they'll help you out. Uh, so, yeah, the Atari VCS is awesome. Uh, there's a new thing for the Atari VCS called Atari Club, you know. It's free to join, you know. And there's games and all sorts of other cool stuff. Information about games and other things. So in my opinion, if, if people have it in, in Atari VCS, you should download the Atari Club app. It's free, you know. Um, it, it, to get set up, all you have to do is put in your email address. And then send your confirmation code. You put that code in and then you join, you know. Like I said, this is a great Atari suite. It, it gives you information about games and other things and this games to play and stuff. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty cool in my opinion, you know. And it's free, so in my opinion, you got nothing to lose, you know. Uh, also, you can then uh, um, um, you, you can connect your 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 other stuff to it, like Facebook or Discord or whatever, you know. So um, it's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, Atari Club. It's a free app in the uh, app section of the Atari VCS. Uh, Looks like to get set to get to join. All, all I have to do is um put in your email address and they send you a code. You enter the code and you're in. You know. Now, uh, some games are free. Like uh, there's a game called Basic Match Recharged, which is free. You know. Uh, now I, I I haven't figured out the, the the controls for the game yet. You know, but it's adding and subtracting and multiplication. You know. Now there's other stuff too. Uh, that you can't pay for if you want to. But uh, it's up to you, like, you know. But the sort of free stuff as well, like information about games and merchandise and stuff like this. So, like, pretty cool, like, you know, in my opinion. And the Atari VCS, I love it, like, you know. Um, I play a lot of Xbox games on it through Game Pass, which is cool. Um, I play a lot of uh, old school games through Crown, like um, Road Rash for the Sega Mega Drive, uh, Hexen. Um, for the for the PlayStation, just tons and tons of retro games, and I just don't get bored, you know, because retro games are my thing, you know. I just love retro games, um, so pretty cool. Uh, but I found out some more uh, good news. Um, uh, Call of Duty. Well, I can't. I can't the Phil Spencer uh, head of Xbox. Um, Call of Duty is coming to Game Pass, so so that's cool. I'll we'll be able to play Call of Duty on my Atari VCS. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And um, like I said, there's um, there's just so much to, to enjoy on the Atari VCS, you know. Um, it's very convenient, you know. It's very fast and responsive, and it's just brilliant. I mean, uh, we can play pretty much any game I want. And if if we upgrade my Atari VCS, we could play play a whole lot more, like Dreamcast games or PlayStation Two games. But my Atari VCS, it's just stuck out of the box. Eight gigs. A a gigabyte of RAM, two two gigabytes of storage, and for me that's good enough. You know what I mean? With that, I can do a whole lot. Like, we could play Xbox Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass games on a and stream arcade. All the games in the on the Atari VCS store. We can emulate thousands and thousands of games to Chrome on on the Atari VCS. Yeah, every system, handheld, arcade, you name it. Uh, from the N sixty four all the way backwards. But like I said, if we want to play Dreamcast games or PlayStation 2 games or something more than man and I have to upgrade my Atari VCS but I don't want to do that because I don't have the skills to do so and I don't want to risk damaging it because I love how it looks and it's just brilliant people and you, you, you just won't get bored with the Atari VCS you know and it's getting more and more games more updates it's just um every so often there's like 
minor problems with these Harry V sets with downloading games. Uh, some some sometimes uh, just won't accept your 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 credit card information. But I tell you how weird it is, and they're looking into it. So these are just minor problems. Uh, but one thing I would um, say to anyone out there, if you're going to get a Atari VCS, if you get it for the first time, it takes a while for it to update, you know. So just don't turn it off or disconnect it during an update, because if you do, you can mess it up. But um, Atari have up, 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 updated the system where it doesn't take as long to update. And if you do accidentally turn it off, um, if you turn it back on, you can restart the update. Whereas before, um, if... if 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 you switched off the VCS during an update, the only way to, to get it going again is to flash the old firmware from the website, put the old firmware onto a USB drive and connect it to the entire VCS. But sit the new update, um like I said, the new update, if you turn off the VCS during an update, um you, you could just restart it and start the update process again. So you don't have to get the old firmware from the website, from, from the entire website, put on a USB drive and then plug it in there. So it's just a lot better. But um, this is a, but a new problem has just occurred in on, on the entire VCS star. These two new games, I just I can't believe them. Uh, Annihilation and Cosmic Panic, you know. But as I tell you, are looking into it and they will fix the problem, you know. And so that's the only thing. It does have minor issues. But overall, it's fucking brilliant, people. I, I, I love the Atari VCS. And look, I'm an old school Atari fan, as you can see. You know, I love Atari. And um, the back with a bang, people. 2024 is going to be an awesome year. Um, a lot of people thought by now the Atari VCS would be finished and Atari would be out of business. But now, they're going strong. They're doing all the right things. You know, and the Atari VCS is awesome. Uh, but the Atari got other hardware as well, like the Atari 2600 Plus, the Atari 400 Mini, you know, 200 car um, 2600 characters, 7800 characters, all sorts of merchandise, hats, you know, but uh, T-shirts, all sorts of cool stuff, uh, runners and everything else. So they're doing all the right things, you know. And but it's the games that's the most important. The, the Atari keep supporting the Atari VCS, I mean, which is awesome. Yeah, and Hopefully we get no driver recharge this year. That's the game I'd like to see, you know. But it's just an awesome system, and it has tons of indie uh, de dev support. And uh, these two new games, Annihilation, that was made by Tree Fall Studios. Now he he's got a few games on the Vista Star already that I'd highly recommend. Uh, puzzle games like Tilting Toils, um, and uh, there's other games I, I can't remember offhand, but he's got a few games on there. And this, uh, uh. Cosmic Panic. Now that's a new indie dev. I haven't, I haven't heard them before, but I have some people. You know, you have a uh, uh, Orange Pixel. You got um, uh, and other uh, awesome indie devs. So part of these Harry So that's awesome people. You know, so and you, you just won't get bored. I mean, um, like uh, we we'll go to Chrome. We could play PlayStation games, Game Boy games, Sega Saturn games. You know, we just don't get bored, and. Uh, like a Chrome itself gets updates all the time, so that's improving. So that's brilliant, you know. Uh, just just minor problems, uh, like buying games and stuff. Um, now, uh, another problem with the VCS was um, connecting controller to by Bluetooth. Um, with 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 the, with the Atari VCS controller and, and the classic joystick, there was a time where they just wouldn't connect. Uh, but um. I got into Atari Christmas apart and they updated the firmware of the controller so they connect a lot a lot faster now. So um but it is a bit annoying the way these sort of problems keep happening. Uh they are annoying, uh, but like it's just the way it is I guess. Um because the Atari V says in my opinion it still needs a few updates, you know. Um so this sort of stuff doesn't happen, you know, because before this we had um, um a zip code uh, bug where it asked you to put in a zip code and people were putting a zip code and it wouldn't accept it. Now in Ireland we never got that problem because we don't use zip codes, but that was another problem. But that seems to be fixed with the update. But this is a new thing now where uh, I can't even buy the games. I'm, pre I'm pressing the buy now button and nothing's happened, but I tell you where it is so but Atari still need to up, 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 update the system, um. So that doesn't happen, um. And um, the the Atari VCS minor controller, like, I'd, I'd like to be able to use that wireless and everything, 
on the Atari VCS like Xbox Cloud Gaming. Uh, for some reason, I have to use a word all the time. Uh, uh, whereas we, we can use the PS4 controller wordlessly on Xbox Cloud Gaming or the PS5 controller, but I can't use the Atari VCS controller. So that's another update that the controllers need. Um, uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like the Atari VCS is awesome. Uh, it's gonna get better and better as time goes on, and it's gonna be around 2024, 2025. We say even 2026, because uh, um, it keeps getting games for it, it keeps getting supply for it. Like Atari are where the more the problems it has and they address it. Um, so that's awesome, you know, and um, it's just a brilliant system. We we'll love how it looks. It's, I mean, I've had more than three years. I haven't had any issues, just more of the problems with downloading games and connecting controllers. But Atari have, like, since the system came out, it's gotten something like six or seven updates. So that's good. I mean, I mean they're improving the system all the time. So, but it needs more updates, in my opinion. Um, and uh, so, yeah, pretty awesome, like, in my opinion. Now, this is the, the uh, collector's edition. Uh, this is uh, only 6,000 of these are made. And when I, uh, back, when, I, when I back the Atari V-Shots and Indiegogo, I was just doing that at Charles, you know. I got this with the, uh, the Atari Classic joystick and the controller. At $375, which was a lot of money to put in Atari's hands, but I had faith that they were going to do it. Uh, a lot of people were saying to me at the time, why, why are you giving the co uh, company... Look at look at how you money to make their own system because they don't have the money. And people said to me straight away, John, that's a con job, you know. Well, we, we didn't think so. Um, and I had faith in them, and thank God, because it could have been a scam. I tell, I tell you, could, could have taken the money and run, but they didn't do that. Uh, they kept putting out updates during the uh, development of, of, of the Atari VCS and Indiegogo. Well, I never doubted for a second, it's just um, uh, certain delays, you know, unfortunate, but. Those delays made the system better, in my opinion, you know. Uh, now, it'll take me to, this video got on too long, but, like, the, the, the basic, the, the, the main delays was, they wanted to update the um, the processor from an AMD, an AMD Bristol Ridge to an AMD Ryzen processor, which sat back the console a few months, but we understood doing that, it made the system more powerful, more future-proof. Um, so, we actually agree with that decision, you know. Uh, another setback was uh, they wanted to change the look of the Atari VCS, you know. Now, you see the way there's this two USB parts there uh, on the front of the system. Well, visually, that wasn't going to be there. Uh, you see the wooden part, that'd be more flush to the ground. And the two USB parts would be on the back. All four of them would be on the back. So they changed that and they just raised it off the ground to make it look more like a 2600, you know. Um, so that sat back the console a few months as well because they had to redesign the system. Then they took out on the back here of the Atari VCS. It is um. And the, now there was meant to be an SD card slot there, but they took that out as well. So a few changes. Um, now taking out the SD card slot was a mistake in my opinion, because that is a feature that I was paying for. It was because. With the SD card slot, I could download games onto the SD card and put it in my uh, PlayStation Portable. But I can't do that now because they took out that feature. So that was the only time we started disagreeing with Terry there, you know. Because originally I was going to have an, an SD card slot because all laptops have an SD card slot and most PCs do. Uh, but I don't know why they, they took that out. Um, but uh, it is what it is. But it doesn't matter because we can play all those games online anyway, you know. Uh, I guess Atari took that out because of privacy or something like that. They worry about people downloading those games onto an SD card, but the privacy is going to happen anyway. But there's just that's a chance for that happening because there's no SD card slot. Um, but like I said, look, now that I have the Atari VCS, we can play tales and tales of games to online emulation, and it's, it's awesome. It's brilliant, in my opinion. Not every game runs great, some games don't work, but I've got access to tells and tells of games, and there's so many different sites that we can play on the Atari VCS. Look, look out for PlayStation games, there's a site called PS1 Fun, all one word, but that we can play PlayStation games. Uh, another site is called RetroGames.cc, which is another great site, PlayStation, uh, Nintendo 64, NES, you know. 
brilliant, you know. Uh, so like, there's just tons of sights, you know. Um, um, EMUOS, sorry, EMUOS. Now, what that is, it's a it's Windows ninety eight, and it's Windows ninety five, and you go in there and a whole bunch of games, you know. Uh, Hexen, Doom, Quake, all, you know, uh, Super Mario Brothers, it's, it's cool, like, you know. And then uh, another story, uh, like, it's called um, Play Mini Games, so you all one word, Play Mini Games, that's another great story, so, but, uh, but to, to keep things simple, just type in the name of the game, like, Road Rash Online, Desert Strike Online, you know, or the system, Sega Mega Drive Online, or, uh, Super Nintendo Online, and once you put the word online at the end of something, you'll find what you want, like, you know. And uh, sweets, these sweets let you use PS4 controller, Atari VCS controller, Xbox controller, whatever, whatever you want to use. So, pretty awesome, in my opinion. So, we yeah, just want to put that out there. Uh, there's a just there's loads to look forward to on the Atari VCS, and there's more coming, you know. Uh, just at the moment, uh, these two games I can't buy on the Atari PC Star, Annihilation and Cosmic Panic, you know. But Atari are looking into it and they will fix the problem. Yeah. And like I said, the, the Atari Club, it's a free app on the Atari VCS. You got you got nothing to lose. Um yeah, it's a big information about Atari stuff and um, it's awesome. So uh, yeah, so that's that's wanna make a, a quick video about that. The Atari PCS is awesome, I love it. And uh, yeah. I can't wait to see what what comes out next on it, you know? And uh, hopefully Atari will fix this problem in the Atari VCS star where we can buy games. Because these two games I'm, I'm interested in, Annihilation and Cosmic Panic, you know? But I have to wait for them to get me out to fixing it. And they will. That's the one thing. Um, They are a small team, Atari, but they do deliver. And that's important, like, you know? So, I we'll love, we'll love the Atari VCS. Real wood and everything. The ridges, everything, but it's just an awesome, awesome system, you know. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. I can't think of anything else to say. Just, um, uh, if you are an, an Atari fan, uh, definitely get the Atari VCS, you know. Uh, don't listen to people that are saying that it's dead, it's finished, it's not, you know. Uh, it's a great system, there's tons of content on it as it is right now. Like I said, there's 150 games and more coming. Uh, we'll just hope this year that Nitro River Recharge comes out, you know. Um, the Star Riders recharge. I'd like to see that happen too, but um, yeah, I mean, it, we just won't get bored with the VCS. Uh, uh, especially if you're um, if you're into retro games big time, we just won't get bored, you know. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, but also another thing, uh, the games that we, that we purchased on the Atari VCS Star, we can play them offline, you know. So that's cool. You know what I mean? Uh, so, if you don't have access to the internet, the games you buy off the Atari VCS Star will still be able to play. So that's pretty cool, you know? So, because uh, that's another thing that, that was concerning the people about the Atari VCS. They, they think that it's an on, online-only console. No, it'll work offline. Um, you know, but, yeah, I mean... Internet is pretty much needed, you know. But it's if 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 you've bought a few games on the on the Atari VCS Star, you can play them offline. So that's pretty cool, you know. So let's end the video there. So um, it has more of the problems the Atari VCS, but um, patience is the key. Just take your time, and if it is updating, don't turn it off. But if you do, you, you can restart the VCS and start start the process again. Whereas before. Um, if you did turn it off during an update, you fuck up the whole system, and the only way to get it going is to get the old firmware off the Atari website, put it on a USB drive, and plug it in. But since the the that is Atari VCS update, you don't have to do that. So they are listening to people's problems and they are addressing them, you know. But I still feel like the VCS needs a few up, a few more updates, you know. Uh, me personally, I'd like to look at the, the, the ability to use my Atari VCS model controller, wireless, and everything on the VCS uh, but I say if I see that'll happen hopefully uh, but the main thing is the games the games are, are fun they're cheap and they're made by indie devs just RD people and it's just a, it's a win win for everybody you know there's no DLC there's no subscription fees and I hope it stays that way you know uh, I hope that Atari don't do what uh, uh, Sony Microsoft Nintendo are doing with this DLC and all this, all this other stuff you know 
Yeah, so anyway, they're my opinions. Um, I hope everyone has a great day. Take care, all the best, and bye-bye.